Hello, I'm Ron Clark. Today, we are going to pursue a hex angle, six sephirots and six paths. Um, it's the first hex angle of six that appear in the Grand Tree. Um, <clears throat> hex angles are interesting. Um, they're in some ways the opposite of the pentangles. <laughs> they're not uh, strictly personal like the pentangles are. They're much more about universal principles. Um, the experiences apply not only to the self, but to everything. Um, and that, that is sort of the focus of a hex angle, is how these personal things apply to the whole universe. So, the hex angle we are going to be doing is the top of the tree, basically. Um, it goes from Gebura via the path of Nun to Yesod, via the path of Lamed to Gejula, via the path of Gimel to Hokma, via the path of He to Kether, via the path of Vav to Bina, and via the path of Daleth to Gebura. And then, of course, back again. Now, it's this gate is very interesting. When you establish it here energetically in the gate maker, it illuminates all the other paths within this hex angle. Um, and it all focuses around Tiferet. So we're sort of hitting the, the spokes of a wheel here at each Sephirotic uh, stop that we make. Um, so there's always sort of this reference to Tiferet when doing this gate. Okay, so I'm going to charge each of the crystals here. Uh, charge Gebura. Yes, on. Gadula. Hawkma. Kether. And Bina. Yeah, the whole thing lights up. And Tiferet lights up too. Not as much as the Sephiroth that I have charged, but still, there is a an energetic dynamic here. It's it's very um, mobile, very fluid, um, moving around before my very eyes. So, okay, I'll just transfer my awareness into Gibura and be off. of power, oh, my power, here in Gambura, but I see all the others around me as well, each of us with our power, all oh, the infinite number of powers here in Gambura, is such a powerful place. Every little thing has its power. Ooh, I cast my vision down to Yesod. And I come into Yesod. And all of our powers play with each other. All of our powers no matter how different, how similar, they all interact here in Yesa. So full of color 
and beauty and sound. Oh, the sound, the orchestra of an infinite number of players. Oh, with their powers, all oh, interacting, conflicting, and merging. Oh, it's all so dynamic here in Yeso. And I look up to Gajula, oh, where everything is united. All of our power is united here in Gajula. All oh, united, nothing disparate at all. All oh, connected. All oh, fitting in perfect harmony in Gajula. Here's my power here in the mix of all the powers united in one solid whole. And I look up to Hokma, the source of meaning. All of our meanings united together here in Gedula. One meaning, but an infinite number of parts, all so powerful and united together. And I look up to Cather and the one self, the I, the all powerful I, containing all. Power of the infinite universe. I, the most powerful, the all powerful, the only power of I. Oh, and I takes form in being. form of all the powers of the universe here with the powerful form. Oh, it's all so exact, so clean, so perfect, the perfect form of the universe here in Vina, and I, my greater self, passes down into the Abura, where once again I am in the power of the universe. I partake of the power that is in each place in the universe, here it is just the power in Gebura. Oh, it's so mobile, so plastic here in Gebura. I can do anything with this power. Oh, this infinite power of the universe as a whole is in my hands here in Gebura. just my power, but still it is my power. I can wield this power of the universe, but it's not just me. It is all of us. We all wield this power together. We are one here in Gabura. Back up to Bina, my greater self, all the greater selves here in Bina, the perfect form of this power. And I pass up to Cather, and I am this power, this one power in Cather. And I pass down to Hope. And the 
this power has meaning. This power is meaningful. Ah, oh, this meaning is powerful. And I pass down to Gajula, oh, the collective of all of us, all the infinite number of parts are together united here in Hokma, here in Gajula, here in Gajula. All of Hakma is one. All the infinite number of parts is united. And I pass down into Yesod. Ah, oh, and here all of us dance. This dance of power in Yesod. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh. Enchanting. back to Gabura and I stand again yeah, in the furnace, the bowels of the furnace of the universe, the engine that drives it all, the power that works it all, the power that makes it all work here in Gabura. Yeah. Now, all the gates that I've performed here, um, I have done them in the creative sequence. The creative sequence that they arise, when they arise, that hexagon arises only when I have introduced the path of Gebura to Yesod. So it's a path of Yesod. It's part of the creation of Yesod. It's the final creative path in Yesod that creates this first hexagon um, in the tree. Gates can be done starting from any of the Sephiroth. And that is how one gets to know these gates, really. Start with the creative sequence of the gate. It's its origin, essentially. Um, its first movement of energy when it is formed um, is in this pattern. Then, I mean, you on your own can change the dynamics. Instead of it being uh, the gate being really about Gebura, um, it could just as well be about Bina. And take it through those iterations of from Kether, from Chokma, from Gedula, from Yeson. Each one of these presents a different lesson, if you will, um, from that specific dynamic combination of Sephirot and Pass. So, this gate is really seven different gates, not just one, um, or well, six different gates. Um, the experience is sifted six different gates, but at each working of the gate, the goal is to unite the Sephiroth and the past so they become a single thing, not six different uh, components. Um, okay? So, 
next video is going to be very special. Something I've not really written about or spoken about. And that is the universal gates. These are um, pentagrams and universal hexagrams. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, it's hard to draw it in the middle of the middle of the air. Um, these are a different beast entirely. They're a wild ride, and uh, it should only be attempted um, if you're comfortable with working gates. Okay, so that's it for now. Be well. Bye-bye.